So with regards to how did you feel that NH the NHS nursing inhibited your self belief or confidence, or did it uh, help it? It definitely helped it because I think in the NHS, when you move to into management, you do actually go on. There's quite a lot of in house training to kind of support you as the manager. Yeah. And um, brought it in change management and leadership skills and everything. So no, I actually felt um, that it was a nice natural transition from. Uh, being a manager there to kind of first of all being my own boss and, and then actually starting to employ people so no it, it was a great stepping stone and actually some of the skills that you learn in the NHS yeah um you, you know one of the key skills I think and have always been rubbish with time management I, I always spend far too long because I, I'm such a perfectionist I've spent far too long doing even the little kind of bits so yeah. I'm not good at, at time management but I am really good at delegation and that's something that I learned to, in the NHS um, right but when you're delegating things you you have to know that you've got the right people to delegate yeah. those absolutely those to, so that in with confidence you know that they will do it to the same level that you would have done it if you were having to do it yeah yeah um, and that's a skill in itself isn't it yeah. being able to identify who those people are and who they're not basically yeah, no um what's what's the ultimate goal with the national medical weight loss program where where would you like to see oh, it God. take over the world <laughs> go no, to national really honestly quite honestly I, I would love um obesity to be uh, the the next um botox treatment so i would love every uh, medical led aesthetic clinic or aesthetic person out there so you've got to be a registered healthcare professional to get onto our course yeah if you haven't got a registration number for whoever you're registered with then we won't train you at all but mm -hmm. i would love to see everyone with a registration who has an interest in helping people who are living with overweight and obesity and love them to set up their their own services and clinics start helping um the uk tackle this phenomenon that is uh, obesity it's yeah. only getting bigger yeah absolutely um what um what else have you had to learn i can kind of touch on this a little bit but along the way other than the actual kind of treating um of patients and setting what what are the other skills that you've kind of had to learn or um teach yourself along the way in terms of business it, it, it's not so much about the skills, it's about the knowledge, really, uh, because there's lots of different things that impact uh, on, on obesity. So it might be psychological, it might be environment, environmental, mm -hmm. it's physiological. So there's lots of things that you learn. And actually, every time we do a course, Liz, mm -hmm. um, I learn something new. And I, I love that element of learning because you think, oh, I didn't know that. And that's yeah. a, a great sensation. That's a great feeling to get. And we always, I always kind of set a bit of a challenge to send Matt away every single course with a bit of homework. So there's a question that he's not being able to answer to. So right, okay. We're <laughs> good at sort of getting back and, and getting that to us. But yeah. And I guess like lots of um, fields, again, there's always new research coming out, isn't there? So what <laughs> might have yeah. been true yesterday might, you know, there might be something that's yeah. come out that actually, and I think that is true of obesity, isn't it? Some of yeah, the, no, no, you know, we've, we've recently found about, you know, about COVID and yeah. being uh, obese actually increases the risk of you getting a, a, a very bad form of the disease and maybe even leading to death because yeah. of that obesity. So, yeah. Um, Obesity impacts so many different people in so many different ways of their life. Yeah. The disease that is uh, it, progression um, from obesity is just phenomenal and we yeah. have to do something about it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, you, to me, you seem like you're always working. Um, how, do you, you. <laughs> how do you manage your time? Have you, um, have you got a, have you got a family and what's your uh, no I'm, I'm single so I'm okay. looking like that so but I, I do have um two amazing children and okay. two wonderful grandchildren so I do oh, get wow. my time with those so um, but yeah I just feel like I'm always at work but at the same time and I know this is really cheesy but it never really feels like work because I enjoy it so much right. um so you know when I get to the point where it's a bit of a burden then that's the time really when I'll kind of start to think okay I'm doing too much I need time off but yeah it, 
really feels like I'm working. I know that sounds crazy, but yeah. I can imagine. I th- I'm guessing that you've always been like that. That you were probably a bit of a grafter yeah. when you were in the NHS as well. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, regrets with regards to business specifically. Have you got any? Or um, Again, a bit of a cliche, my only regret I, I had was not knowing about sex ender for my own personal journey sooner, right. and then more kind of not being able to, to lead um, into what's now become the National Medical Weight Loss Program, because um, just receiving the help myself, you know, very often we'll come across the occasional patient who is really moved who, who we've, it might they might have uh, polycystic ovaries and they've got particular excess hair or they might have really bad acne and you help to improve that. So yeah. we've all had those patients where you've been physically moved to tears because of how overwhelmed they are right. of joy and, great, and gratitude. You get that every day working in obesity. Yeah. Uh, you'll know from our Facebook group the, 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 the comments even from delegates that have been on the course it is so easy to lose weight on a zen pick it's just that there isn't i've never come across anything like it and it's not even like you're trying you just have no thoughts or feelings or inclination to, to kind of eat so it's really easy then to eat healthily yeah and to eat fewer calories so yeah. that you actually have a um and you know that weight loss that you need to improve your health um what else did I want to ask you? What would you say is the key skill from nursing that has provided most value in your, again, in your sort of business life? Uh, in business life? Um, so the key prob- Probably, I, I think coming back to delegation, it's yeah. certainly not time management because I'm really not good at that. <laughs> I still haven't, you haven't mastered that one. No, but I haven't. <laughs> I'm, I'm very good at... Um, I actually think I'm a good manager as well. I'm I'm very fair. I'm very strict with my team. Okay. Um, I think they all do respect me, and the team members that I've got have been with me years and years and years and years and years. I can't get rid of them. So uh, that's a good sign. <laughs> um, so yeah, that um, yeah, I think I am a, a fair leader, um, and, and and they do respect me. I believe. Um, yeah, that's great. So yeah. Yeah, and I, as you say, I guess those are skills that you do learn yeah. with experience in the NHS and kind of building up to that management level. And um, if you can get the best out of people, then you know yeah. that's what it's about, isn't it? Learning how to get the best out of people. Yeah. I think one of the key things as a nurse, though, and this is a skill most of us have, is yeah. the, the empathy. Yeah. Um, so that you can put yourself in that patient's shoes, and I physically can. Yeah. Um, I know exactly when they're lower than the low and yeah. on their knees I've been there and I've had those feelings I've had those thoughts yeah. um so yeah I know where they're coming from yeah um and then just last question is um what value has having your own business added to your life like how does it if you are if you're encouraging, if, if you're encouraging oh. nurses out there to yeah. Yeah. You're thinking, oh, maybe. What would you say is, is um, something that's good? Value I really love being my own boss. Um, I really like that. I, um, I, I'm not very good at um, taking orders, particularly if I disagree <laughs> with those orders. Yeah. Um, and um, so that kind of gives you an, a degree of flexibility. Maybe not right at the beginning because that flexibility comes with with kind of success or more flexibility comes right. with more success. Right. And um, that increased flexibility comes as you start to actually um take people on who you then train up and they become or they start to kind of um if you like gather your skills um and they do things how you do them and and so to that sort of standard and level so i like the flexibility uh it's certainly given my family financial security until what they was it the 23rd of march when we had to shut down (laughs) yeah because yeah. um, as a company director, um, I couldn't furlough myself um, and I stopped paying myself. I wasn't taking any dividends. And yeah. We had to conserve that money to, to be able to kind of carry on paying bills that were coming out. Luckily, the rest of my staff, they're all employed, so they, they all got furloughed. So. Yeah. yeah, it's been a tough um, So, yeah, they're, they're the two key things, really. And hopefully, um, as a 
clinics open and, and we open our doors again, um, we'll have people knocking on the door saying, I want my boat off. Yeah, <laughs> uh, luckily, we've been able to, we've carried on, uh, we've carried on doing the, um, the training for the National Medical Weight Loss Programme. Yeah. That's not a, a two-day webinar course. So, Which um, works we'll, perfectly we'll, well. I mean, I, yeah, I we'll, loved being able to do that from home. Yeah, we used to actually do it um, face-to-face. Yeah. We do it face to face, but there's a screen between us now. So, and it's great because you can see people sat on the sofa, they're in the jammers, or they're sat outside in the yeah. sun. So, and we'll never go back to running a physical face to face classroom based learning ever again. No, I don't, I don't think there's any need, is there? No. And um, so, you know, that's gone down really, really well. And um, we've actually been able to carry on with the service as well. So, We've also, again, because of lockdown, it, it's shown that the, the weight management model lends itself beautifully to being a, a remote consultation and a yes. remote prescribing service. Yeah. Most of you kind of think, oh, remote prescribing, that's only for Botox. Botox yeah. is the only person where you have to physically see that patient face physically face to face. Yeah able to then prescribe if you're going to delegate that a prescription for someone else to administer yeah but we actually go through again we go through this in the training there are um there was a, a document that was published it, on the 8th of november last year and it's called the 10 key or the 10 high level principles of, of remote consultations and prescribing and that was written co-written by the CQC, the NMC, the GDC, the GMC. So there's 13 different regulatory bodies all come together mm-hmm. to form these 10 key principles to allow us then to safely and ethically prescribe online or remotely and yeah. via video consultation. Yeah. So that's what we do now. Yeah, fantastic. Um, is there anything else that you want to say in summary? Um, anything that I haven't asked you that you wanted me to ask you or... Uh... Um, I, I don't, I don't, no, I don't think so. I think um, just get in touch, yeah. nwlp.co.uk. I'm, I'm sure uh, Liz will actually put our details or put my details. Yeah, definitely, in. I will do. Are there any questions from uh, viewers? We've got a Sandy, you're inspirational. I can't see yeah. who that's from. <laughs> uh, oh, no, I don't think I can get that up there, actually, at the moment. Um, okay, Sandy, I mean, I think what you've done is incredible and it's really inspirational for nurses. I, it's amazing seeing um, a business like yours and then discovering there's a nurse at the head of it, um, not a doctor, you know, not that I've anything against doctors, but it's, you know, incredibly motivational, inspirational that you're doing that. And, I just um, think that it's something that all of you can do. Um, right. they're, they're skills that you all possess anyway. Yeah. We, we just kind of help you um, master those skills so that you can actually treat those people. Yeah. Um, and these people really need our help, girls. This is where I start to get emotional. So yeah. do have a think about helping these people because yeah. it, you will be changing their lives. You change their lives in, in terms of how they can interact with their family, the different sorts of things that they can do, and you're extending their life expectancy too. So please get out there and, and come and join join the team, become a certified partner to help us um, tackle obesity. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Sandy, so. thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's lovely welcome. talking to you, and um, I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> Yeah, thanks so thanks much. Thanks so much. Bye, everybody. Thanks Take for care. watching. Okay, that was Sandy Green. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Really interesting insight into her um, weight loss business. And um, yeah, if you want any information, get in touch. I'll put some details um, in with this video later so you can, you can get in touch with her or with me. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. And I'll be back next week. Um, I'll see you then. Have a good rest of the week.